Hey everyone, so Slackware. Slackware, of course, I a while ago did a video on how I should install Slackware and to update Slackware and left it there. And Slackware, of course, one of the most oldest and faithful Linux distributions has been around for so many years. One of the things that makes Slackware different than other distros is its package management. Out of the box, Slackware expects you to manually install your software, your packages, generally at times from source. And in recent times, other things have come out like Slack builds, which basically allows you to go to a site, get the software, download it, convert it, install it, etc. However, these solutions out of the box do not offer management of additional packages, aka dependency management. And of course, it is traditional Slackware, of course, you handle your own dependencies, which is great. But as of course, as time has gone by, especially in today's modern age, packages might have many dependencies or hundreds of dependencies. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a way of how to install software on Slackware much easier than normal. So essentially the non-Slackware way of doing it. So if you want to use Slackware on a daily basis and you want to easily install software, but you don't want to worry about all of the package management and dependency management and all of these things, this video is for you. So I've tried to make this as simple as I possibly can and by using a couple of pieces of software. So I've made a couple of notes of myself because I pre-did this uh, in the demo to make sure it actually works. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to make use of two main packages. We're going to use a SPO package, which essentially is a command line a tool that synchronizes your Slack installation with slackbuilds.org. And then we're going to use something else called SPO tools. And what SPO Tools is, it's essentially a, or a interface for Slack builds on all. So it basically provides a port like interface and it handles package management, etc. The downside of SPO Tools at the moment is it hasn't been updated in a while. So what it's doing is out of what it seems to be putting software in all for 14.2, but since when Slack with 50, no problem, there is a workaround uh, for that. So start off, of course, slackwebbulls.org. Let me show it to you here in the window. It is basically where you can get installation scripts for various pieces of software. So Onite is a search for OBS, or let's say something a little smaller, uh, rcloud, so I choose rcloud. And basically here, what we would do normally is we'll download the build, we'll download the source file, and we would uh, make the installation reading the installer and all of this type of stuff. Really great uh, Slack Slack builds. Uh, you can kind of think of Slack builds as almost like in Ubuntu, your, your uh, Ubuntu repos and Slack, your, uh, sorry, in Arch, your Arch repos, etc. So how are we going to do this? Well, of course, this uh, has been pre-configured of uh, Slackware. And so all I've done is, as per the previous video, I've installed it, I've applied uh, updates, and the rest is pretty vanilla. So first thing we're going to do is install SQL package and then SQL tool. So firstly, you go to the SQL package website and you go to downloads. And basically what we're going to do is download it. So the latest version can be found here. So I'm just going to click on that. And then let's just save the file, save it to downloads, etc. To downloads all that. Okay. So I've got the downloads, uh, I've got the download. And remember everything that we're going to do today, we're going to be logged as root. So we're going to do this really support install package, right? And what package we're going to install. Well, we're going to install the SPO package, so SPO package, and we're going to enter. And there we go. The package is then uh, installed. If you can tell us it's, it's executed the script, I this time all of this, it's a command like tool. So that should be this pretty simple. Okay, so what we're going to do now is SPO package-r. 
And what this is going to do is it's going to sync uh, the tools. So I'm going to again do a sudo and basically SPO package dash R. And what that does, it's syncing with remote repo, AKA it's actually syncing with slackbolts.org. And of course you can see it tells you sync has been completed. Now what we're going to do is go SPO package. Uh, we can do dash G and we want to search for SPO tools. So SPO tools and it actually tells you it's found SPO tools. So this is exactly the equivalent as you find in Slack bolts and I go SPO tool. So what we can do now is pretty much this. I'm going to go SPO package dash I to store and I'm going to go and type SPO tools. SPO tools. It's going to ask us, uh, do we want to proceed a quick and here it's got, it's checking. This is the same version here as what when we searched above. So I'm going to proceed and you see pulled down the it's pulled down the files and it has come ahead and install it and what i need to do now is i need to configure this spo tools here right i need to configure this so what it does is and you can what it does is that it pulls down the latest info from slackweight so you can see here is um the different tools that it's got and you can go through it um, if you need to, etc. Um, and it basically talks to what each, each one does, etc. So the nice thing that they did with their is spirit tools is that they gave you the opportunity of setting your own configuration options. So what I need to do is do an SPO config and configure it that what it does, it uses this link for the slack builds. Yes, we're going to run this command and basically what we're doing is we're going to be uh, configuring SPR tools to use uh, this repo so we can just manually set that repo. Right, now that we've really set the repo, what we need to do now is the SPO snap fetch. Share now that it's completed, you can just clear the screen. So let me show you how easy it is to install software. So I just want to project the I don't have R clone installed. I don't have, I don't have Ruffy. Basically, what we're going to do now that we've installed the tools is we're going to go SPO install storage root and I'm going to say R clone. Then you hit enter. This is my think. Tell us what R clone is. It's found it. We must proceed to install yes. And yes again. And here we go. Start adding it. Was it creating the package for it? Now it's added its automatic install of the package. So if I open up new terminal and I do R command, you can see R command is actually now installed. Really, really awesome uh, way of doing things. I can do a spin up store, and in this case, I'm going to do brave dash browser. It's found it, so I'm going to say yes. And yes, we want to store it. And yes, what it's going to do. And if I go here, I just put that. Like magic. Brave is now installed. So, yeah, folks, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Easy way of installing the software on. Slackway Linux, so five percent. Leave your comments below. As always, thank you for watching.